What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This sells out the mystery crate, guys. The last three spots are hiding here with this uh, 2021 Panini Prism Cello Pack Break number 261 random teams. Um, and again, guys, first we do the break, randomize customer names and teams to strip the hits out. Then at the end, we'll randomize only the customer names. Top three get in. And Chris, I couldn't agree with I couldn't agree with you more. All right, so here we go. Dice Roller, here's the customer names, like I said, teams. And Dice Roller, here's the customer names again for the land. Roll it. We got a one and a three four times. Good luck. One, two, three, and four. Steve Birch, down to Barry David. I mean, I'm sure the cheapest, the smallest cup is around a dollar and change, but I don't think it's exactly a dollar. But. Yes, Florida actually had a lot of Wawa's. I, I tried it when we went to the show last year with Nick in Miami. All right, four times, four times. But yes, uh, when we go to the national this year, I will be eating Wawa's almost every day. All right, so there you go. At least for breakfast. I love their breakfast sandwiches when I first tried it. You know who had great breakfast too? I mean, I haven't had it in years because I only ate it like twice when I was in Canada. But Tim Horton's breakfast biscuit sandwiches were delicious. Also, their ice caps, their their ice caps were fantastic. That's also one thing I miss. I miss Wawa's and I miss Tim Hortons. I tried their biscuit breakfast sandwich one time and I was just like, this is the best like breakfast sandwich I've ever tried. All right, here we go. Zeller, Terrence Davis. Yeah, Tim Hortons is uh, very popular, and it's. I mean, I'm not not to say they don't have any any here in the United States. They do, but it's more like on the Canadian borders. More of the Canadian borders, but it's it's a it's a big kind of uh, retail chain of uh, in Canada, basically. And also, Mike Nick is actually fun fact born in Dallas. He was born in Dallas. Because when, when he was born there, they were living there for the few years. Then they moved to New York when Mike worked at Tops. But the only one originally from Philly is Mike. But I'm sure Mike has his favorite places. I mean, we all like gyms. We got it delivered one time in dry ice and tried it in person. But yeah, gyms is a really good one. Alright, there you go. Tim Hortons also has its own product. They sell hockey cards and hockey packs there, boxes. But yeah, it's it's just like another coffee place with donuts. Tim Hortons, like donuts, and they also have breakfast and like an expanded menu. And then Wawa's is like, <laughs> when Nick used to call it when I first tried it, was like, it was a, a 7-Eleven on steroids. <laughs> Wawa's, but yeah, they're like, they're like in like the New York, Philly, Baltimore areas, and then they like expand it to the Florida area. I hope they expand elsewhere, but I don't know. But yeah, usually the Tim Hortons are like in the northern states near Canada border. All right, guys, well, good luck. Let's do the dice roller now, boom. It is a two and a four, six times, good luck. Top three get in, one, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Boom, six times. So, Barry David, down to Barry David. Sad times for you guys, unfortunately, not in. Um, but here you go. Top three. Barry, wow. You were the first one out, but you're the uh, last one in. Steve Birch, 
And Michael Robinson. There you go. Top three are in. So you guys are now in the mystery crate. And coming up next is the mystery crate. Number 10, last crate. Appreciate it, guys.